What's up, man? You watching Shadow the OG TV? Keep it live, keep it subscribed. You already know. Man, right now we're at the Hood Fella Studio. Got my brother in the booth doing a song with that boy Gage, K Reno. Man, we're just gonna kick it right here. Just check it out. See what he's doing, man. See how we're gonna keep it live. Later on, we're gonna sit down with my brother at my house and we're gonna get some of that interviews y'all been talking about. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me hear that. Three more lines. Ice like a triple beam. Yeah. What's up, Grim? True story from a true OG. Wouldn't be no me without the G no bitch. Right. Him and each of yeah, the clock that cared before I started the trip. Well, I'ma take you back. If you give me no more blank AC chill. Murder one gangsta gift, spitting crazy feels. There's me. You tuned in to Shadow the OG TV. You already know. Keep it live. Keep it subscribed. Right here. We keeping it right. It's a Grim and Shadow right here chilling. As you guys wanted and y'all commented before, man, y'all told me, y'all said, hey man, when are you gonna get your brother on the show? You know what I'm saying? When are you gonna come out with a Grim album? When are you gonna come out with a Grim album? Well, we finally got him a laptop. We finally got him a, 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 a microphone, monitors. Well, uh, thank you, Mike Olivo at, at Hoodfellas for doing Mike, that, by Mike. the way, and Rebel. And uh, up with so that's the only reason why he came that's the only reason why you came, right? What? To pick up that equipment yeah. and bring me back, bring me my twelve hundred. To pick up mom and oh, and mom. to pick up mom first, first, because mom's and, gonna and go and back with the him. equipment. You know, okay, yeah, it's, that happens to be going back with us. To Gloria, what are we gonna call Gloria? If if Gloria is uh, that's another that we got. I, I got some. I got some. Okay, so my dad's a phantom. This is Grim Shadow. And then uh, we gotta call mom. We gotta come up with a name for mom. Hey, maybe in the comments. Hey guys, my That's followers, in the comments, think of a, a, a name for my mom. Uh, an eighty. And you already got the kind of the the what, what the right phantom, grim, grim, shadow. Okay, so we'll see what the deal is, man. Gloria. So, so here it is. It's 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 five o'clock in the morning, and my brother's about to head back to uh, Dallas. And um, what we're gonna do is. Man, don't start that, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, don't start that. They used to put our name, uh, how come they didn't have the, uh, on the shoe? On the, on the I don't know, man. That's a good question. They did. They, used to, they used to put, I don't know, man. Hey, in fact, uh, uh, shout out to Grandpa Tony, because Grandpa Tony used to be like, remember, he used to be like, which, Let me one, see. Are you, which one are you? Let me see. Let me see. And we had to pick up our foot, our shoe. He'd be doing it on the phone. And they used to write our initial on the shoe because we looked alike. So they used to write our initial on the shoe. The I, had a, I had an R and, and well, he'd have a G and I would have an S. Now, that's what you do now. No. Oh, G and S. G and that way we go on the show. Let me see. Let me see. Which one are you? We'll put on the inside of the hat. No, no, no. We're doing the shoes, man. Got to keep it on the shoe. Inside the, inside the collar. But oh, anyway. Oh, yeah. Get back on track. Okay, okay, man. No, my bad, man. I, you know, anyway, man, I could spend hours with you, but he's he's got about thirty minutes to do this because he's about to get on the uh, uh, the road. Family calls. You know what I'm saying? So hey, always right. working. So right. so what I did is I came up with this thing, Paul. I came up with this thing, and, and first of all, I got thirteen pictures, and in the comments below, and if you can come up with why I came up with thirteen pictures, you know what I'm saying? Then uh, if you're the first one, then you're gonna get this shirt right here. This, right. shirt? this shirt, right? Well, not this shirt, but a shirt just like. Hey, hey man, what size is this? You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's a two X. Ah, well, it's two X. Yeah, it's a two X. Fucking blanket. Yeah, man. you kidding me, bro? I promise you. Look at it. It's a two X. Hey, that that's monster. That's monster. Ah. Monster, monster. He he ordered those. Bro, these are a little. I think. Hey, when you get a two X, you get a two X. Shit. That's a big and ass two X. Also, yeah, by the if, way, if, they're, for they're the, big ass motherfuckers. I, I, also, if you can, if no one can come up for the reason why I came up with the number thirteen, uh, hopefully you can be the first one to get that shirt. Thirteen. You know what I'm saying? There's another reason why my brother, my brother and I are wearing these shirts. What? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm why not are telling you wearing you. my shirt. This is my yeah. shirt. You know what I'm saying? But why are we wearing this group? You know what I mean? Uh -huh. You, you too? too. If you, you don't know, you won't know. If you don't know, you won't know. That's the truth. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. So you gotta leave, man. Look, it's already. All right. We got time. Bro. All right, chill out. Oh, we got time. See, that's what I like about him. He always has time for y'all. You know what I'm saying? And we always got time for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hand you these pictures. I just want to get your reaction. 
all right? And for you out there, I'm gonna post this right here. You see, right Where behind me. They're just pictures I found them. They're Kathy and I found in the in the thing. Okay, I found them in my boxes, man. I got boxes of pictures, man. Okay. All right, just like I got found that one. All right, here we go. Here we go. Get, get your reaction. What's what? What, what is that? Oh, what the hell? Where is this? Uh, Hart uh, Hartman. Hartman. So Hartman's middle school, right? Jun junior high. Right? You remember what day that was? What day? No. What? What was this? Why were we yeah, wearing yeah, that? Yeah, this is a graduation. All right. Right. All right. How, how old were you? Eighth grade? Yeah. No, I think no. It says it's it on the back. Oh, it says it on the Yeah, don't look at it. Let's see. How old were you? I'll give you a hint. How many pictures How we got? That? How many pictures we got? Hold on, hold on, let me think. How many pictures we got? 13. Oh! How old were you? 13? 13 years. No way. Old. I promise you, that's what it says. That's what mom wrote on the back, so you gotta ask me. You gotta ask mom. Uh, not, again, I don't know if I trust that. <laughs> 13? Yeah. What was it Hartman? Is at Hartman Middle School. Okay, it was our graduation day. Now look at, if you look at that picture, you know, you wouldn't think that we were in rap or rock and roll or none of that, you know? So that was right before, or right right there in the midst when I was in break dancing and you was listening to Van Halen and you started getting into rock and roll. I want you to give me the reaction to that picture. Uh, you think, right here, my reaction is, first of all, you think you're too cool. <laughs> Look, I was cool, man. Look at you. I don't know. Of course, me, man. Look. You look already, like you don't even want to wear those, that. For those that don't know, I didn't. For those, I remember this, man. For, for man, I'm a, a fucking nerd. My bad. We can cuss? Yeah. Well, I'm a fucking nerd. And uh, you can see it, man. There goes that guy right there, man. Just uh, always wanted to. Straight A student. Fucking straight A student. Same, but we wore different shirts. And Suits. The suit is exactly the pants and the jacket. Yeah, is the exact yeah, same. All right, there goes one. Oh, sorry. Surprisingly, surprisingly, she didn't make, try to make. All right, all right, all right. Next picture. Come on, we got to get going. All right, we got time. Okay, we got time. Here we go. Let's go. Oh wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Oh, wait, wait. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh damn, this is dope. This is uh in Harrisburg. This is at the house. Harrisburg house. The Harrisburg house that a uh, dopey. Dopey, easy B, point blank, point uh, blank. stayed there. Yeah. Who else? It was, a, it was a bunch of, but there was mostly their house. They didn't have a lock on this door, bro. Yeah, it was it point blank's change. house. It was, what? what who, who, I guess, I, I don't remember. It was, that. It was, I think point blank, I don't know, we'll figure it out, we'll, we'll ask him. But like, what happened with the door, you said? <laughs> The, the door. Oh yeah, it didn't have it. Didn't have, it had a chain. Right. With a lock no, on it. It was. There right. was no right. handle. There was no. For a while, I don't know. You know, at least for a while. And you know, funny. You want to tell the story about? I think. Okay, so first of all, there goes Ike. <laughs> there goes uh. Tricky Ricky. Tricky Ricky was there. Uh, who, who's this guy? In the, I can't see, bro. That, hey, that's Peanut. Peanut, nigga. You don't say. I do. I can see him. What yeah. was his name? DJ. What was his name? Uh, 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 Fade Operator. What was his name? He came out on the Klondike song. He's the one. Who, uh, uh, anyway, he, he. That's not Triple Six. Triple Six. That's him, dude. That's Triple Six. Man, you know how I know Peanut, right? From from skateboarding. You know oh, who? I didn't know that. Joe Medina. From oh, from from, uh, from Hartman. Not yeah. Joe Medina. Not our Joe Medina. No, 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 no. Long, the, the long hair, cool. Yeah, yeah low rider. Yeah, that was my home. He reminded me. Of Joe, you know who Joe Medina reminded yeah. me of from uh, Snoopy? Joe Cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was he was he was Joe Cool. He, the he girls love that fool. They he had that. So you know you tried to be his your little you know. Nah, he was my. I tried. Yeah, I tried to be cool. You, with you him. formed your little style off of Joe Medina. You're tell right. the truth. You're Am right. I lying? No, you're absolutely and, right. And he and he was a skateboard. We I skateboard. That's right. I remember that. Okay, and he but, was a skateboard. But he was the first one with the low rider bike, skateboard. All that with the suit and everything. Uh, That's what I'm talking about, Joe yeah. Medina. I was trying to be Joe, Joe Medina. You know, not Jam, not Joe Jam Medina, my my, nah. my my brother, my other brother from another mother. Nah, not, not but, Joe, but, Joe. but Joe Medina from 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 a middle school, and he would pay me he would pay me ten dollars for every time that I do his homework. Joe, I believe that. Yeah, yeah. We that's how Joe we, Medina that's had how all the girls, cool. black girl, nerds. Mexican girl, Asian girl, white girl. He had all. Yeah, he was girls. Joe Cool. He was Joe Cool. Who else is in that picture? Uh, Egypt, Dopey, Deuce, damn. But that's Ike, man, with his little shirt tucked in. You know what I'm saying? And Look then that's, me, and that's I don't even you. Recognize my ugly ass. Yeah, that's when you. That's I'm about as big as you are there. Probably bigger. And and little and Rick. Okay, 
true story about this place. I know we got, you know. No, no, take your time. So, so what's, do you remember what happened? Point I do. Blank I, I, I do. I actually one asked of the, one of my favorite stories about the last the last, the last time happen. I seen Point Blank. I have it on video. I, I don't know if I'll be able to post it, but and I asked him about that. What? And, and, and the what you, the story you're about to say? Yo, oh, you already. Yeah, right? I asked him. About okay, it. so my, my favorite story. This plank. I got other stories, you know, about this house. This house was a trip. They did a lot of work. Uh, I can. I mean, my 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 mind goes blank. Uh, 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 prone to what, bad dreams. Prone to bad dreams. The album. So imagine yeah. all them songs on that. Yeah. From yeah. smoke, get high with the blankster. All that. All, all that shit was done there. Was done here. That's right. Was, and uh, and it was EGP, Dopey, and they were playing. They were they were recording on the ASR ten. No, the it, was a, it was it was it was a sixteen plus. The sixteen plus, but that, it wasn't in Sonic. But it was a, it was it before was, that. It was, it, was the, it, was the, it was the board before. It was the, the board that EGP taught. That's where EGP actually Talked pulled and pulled the chair and 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 said, "Here, I'll show you how to work a, right. uh, that machine." That. Right in the living room. It was right there in the living room. Yes, sir. Okay, members. So they had all their equipment in there. Right. Right, and they did all their albums, and also the terrorists were working on their albums. That's right. We would little. We would we would try to get in where we could fit in. Yeah. And, and get a couple of you know whatever. We so could what happened? What happened? So we were there all the time, man. And I remember I pulled up, and this is at night. Now this this is in Magnolia. You right. know, this is right off there off of 75 and I'll post it right now. I'll post it right now where exactly 75th we're at. 75th in, in Harrisburg, right, right there in that little, right. that little, that little neighborhood. That little neighborhood is behind Mason Park. Tucked away in that little side by the train track. Right. And, oh, it was like a horseshoe and there was streets right. in between. Right there by Mason Park. Yeah. So uh, when I pull up, uh, I get there and I'm knocking on, on you know, I'm making, hey man, what's up, what's up? And I noticed that the, uh, the door was the, open. the door it was it was pulled the chain with the was pulled around and everything but it wasn't locked right right and shit I wasn't gonna go inside you know what I'm saying because I figured right. they were you know either I started hollering hey what's up what's up yeah I even I, I, I probably went you know nobody was there the but nobody the door was, was open nobody was there so I, I waited on the, right there on the front yeah I'm sitting right there on the front you could actually go inside a little screen with it inside yeah. the screen so I was sitting there chilling you know kind of probably smoking and who comes. And Point Blank comes up. Point Blank, comes right? Up. I was with you, by the way. He lives there, yeah. right? Oh, you were? I was right there. Okay, I so, was there. Damn. So, so uh, how you were? You yeah, know? I probably was. I see that shit. I probably man, for sure. That's why I need you, man. Especially with the book, <laughs> man. I need. You. Anyway, so uh, I need to fact check my ass. I'm sitting there, right? So remember, we're sitting there, and. Uh, <laughs> Respond blank coat comes up and he's like, what's up, what's up, this and that. And he goes, why are you inside? You know why, why are you inside? I, I said, well, and I showed him, I said, well, I mean, I was going to go inside, but, you know. Nobody's it, here. No, I'm, nobody's here, but it's open. You know, I said, I said, but look, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't know, I just didn't want to go inside. Man, what Man, he, he, he got was this. He got livid. He was, what? He was livid. What? Oh, oh, he, oh, oh. Off the top, out, 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 to the point. Like, I remember being Yeah, like, he oh, got so shit. mad, he, we thought he was mad and at he us. he stormed inside. Oh, yeah. shit, hold up. Yeah. Open the shit, and he's like, nah, like he couldn't believe he could just take, go into take his the house. Chain. Yeah, he's like, like almost he would, he was beyond us no more. He wasn't even. He wouldn't he like, like we he weren't was, even there. Exactly. <laughs> he was like, hold up, wait, what? Yeah. He grabs it, pulls it off, like literally, like, pulls ah, it off, like throws like, it on the like floor. Somebody breaking in. Yeah, and he why he busts it into his own open, place. Walks in and he goes, uh, and he's he's pacing back and forth, pissed, just you know, not not he wasn't the type that was gonna you know that would just. uh he, he, he didn't have like anger pro anger problems. No, no, no. But, but he, he was his. But, he was. His, but he, he was, was pissed. He was shocked. I've never seen him like was, that. I've never seen him that way either. Cause but he, he was pissed. But he he when he did his rounds and he noticed everything was there. Right. All the equipment right. was there. That's exactly right. He went in there. Everything. Around, nothing was around, touched. Sure nothing. Everything, everything was exactly how he left. It. He, and he got. So he sat down and, and, and you were smoking. He, he, he calmed down. And he calmed down. And, and I remember he says, "Man, let me hit that motherfucker." And he hit. He hit the man, weed. I never did that shit. And he pondered for right. about a good minute. Man, not even that. Not long, even bro. about thirty seconds. And he says, and he got up. Because I know. He, I know. No, he didn't say nothing. He got up like he knew what he was gonna do, and he started getting all the equipment. And he started putting it up, bro. That's what tripped me out. So he takes the eight, he takes the Insonic, he takes all the. He shit, unplugs everything. Every front thing in front of it, because when you walked in, it was straight. It was right in the living room. You walked in the one room, and then you walked into the. I think it was the dining room. Yeah. You walked in the living room. You walked in the dining room. And it was, it was visible. It wasn't yeah, like it was, was in a, right on the there. side. So it was like so, as soon so as he you walked in, all that stuff. I remember he just goes and picks it all up, and he, and he slides it under his bed, and he puts it in the closet, uh, and, and yeah, he puts it all yeah. the way right. And he tells us. Then he tells us. And he leaves all the cords. Yeah, he, he tells leaves us, everything. He tells, like, he yeah. tells us when these motherfuckers get, or basically what he says, I'm paraphrasing. 
when you when they get here, follow my lead. That's what he said. Right? Yeah, I remember. Follow like, my just, lead. Just, just, and I'm smart. You know me, nigga. I'm like, I'm like, this is gonna be good. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm and always mind good for you, drama. I'm mind you, in there for, and mind for the, you, for the cinema. They coming the, from the same place. So he knows they come. Right, I remember he knows, that. He goes, like, oh, he goes they, they coming. Here. They gonna be here. So they must goes, have stopped at the store or whatever. The product that I, I, I know. So like store, maybe, so I know exactly make, man. I mean, three that. minutes like after he had just said that. I mean, it was no no later than like a minute. Mm -hmm. Dopey and, yeah, and they come in like nothing. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. They, they got their snacks. And they and they, and they got don't got even shit. realize. Yeah, and and, and really, there. we were supposed. They were supposed to meet us there, so they was they expected us to be there to work on some. Yeah, you know. So. So, so long story short, right? So they get in everything, and and point blank just goes straight into it, right? He's yeah. Putting on the whole act, bro. I mean, I mean, he's putting it on, bro, and he's letting them know, like, look, look, where were they? Got us. Happened? Hey, they got it. Look. They got us. I mean, bro. he's going through the whole. The chain was off. Da, 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 he's going who, through the who whole. Left, who, who left the door who, open? Hey, where'd y'all go? I mean, uh, uh, who left it open or what? That's yeah. what it was. And who, who, who was last? Because he knows he didn't leave the yeah, door Yeah, he was like, who was last? I don't know. He went through the whole thing. And, and uh, man, I remember, bro, Dopey wanted to cry. Oh, bro. man, dude. Remember he wanted, he was, he EGP was, is real quiet. So he just, you know, yeah, EGP is the type quiet, of just, he's he's just goes just, man. He just, man. That's all he kept saying. Man, it's fucked up, man. Right, he, he was shocked, but he was you know, Egypt just a, a, a quiet guy. But but I remember Dopey Dopey's cry, face. Man. I'll never forget his face. He was like shocked. shocked. He didn't say he anything, and man. you could tell he wanted to cry. He didn't cry, but so, he wanted to cry. And, and of course, not you. Like I said, point blank played it. I mean, to the team. Right, didn't let him know. I mean, didn't, know, didn't, didn't let on, didn't let on, let him, let him feel it, let him, let let him feel it for a good, like a how long? They, they for about, about, I don't know. Uh, if it was five minutes, it felt like the longest five oh, it minutes. Was, it, it seemed, it probably seemed a lot longer than, than we, it probably was like about five minutes. Yeah, but it, but maybe it ten. Like, it's six, boy, but it seemed like a, like, like he like got a it lifetime. all out. He got, I never forget. It was kind of one of those moments where, where they had all gone through the whole motion of, of. Really, it, like it's gone. They've seen it. Yeah. It's gone. It's gone. And they're there, like, I remember there was. It was almost like where it was. You get silent. That un, yeah, that that unnerving little silence. Yeah, that, that yeah. And they're like, fuck. And did he come out with it? And, and his, did he did he pull it out? No. Phone? What happened was, he went to the other room. I and, remember. And he, he started and he started putting it back. Oh, that's well, right. Yeah. Piece by piece. Yeah, he started. He started putting it, it back, and he put a speaker. And then he went and got another, and then he got like that's the, right. and then one of the, the last, last pieces was, was the, the keyboard. The key brought, that's, yeah. that's what I remember him bringing yeah. out the keyboard. And I guess nobody, they were so. They good. were so in shock. They were in the other room. They were <coughs> like. They were they, grieving, bro. Yeah. Oh, they were grieving. And and it wasn't the last piece, but he brought in that piece, like the third piece he brought in. Like he and brought he the two him, speakers. And he, and he brought told him, he goes, see. Look what could have happened. Like, yeah. like literally, it was a teaching, teaching moment. Right, right. And he, he taught them a lesson. And, and literally, and they sat there like, like children. Like we all sat there like children, like, children. like, like learning from our parents. You know, like yeah. our mom and dad. And we learned that. something. We learned something. <laughs> it's like, and he was like, see, these. This is what you know. Like, look at that. Our whole, basically, our whole, whole life was gone. What, what we're going on. What could have been like that. And I'll never forget because that, somebody man. because somebody didn't put the lock on the just chain. because of one you know senseless mistake, right? Yeah, yeah. And it could have been because you were high. But or that's but that's what I love stupid. about that's what I love about Point Blank and the SPC. He exactly. But and and was that he was always ready to to use moments like that to to make to make a point or to teach a lesson, right? Yeah. And he did that a lot, man. Even that, like that's even why he's called Point Blank. Blank. Man, I love Point Blank. Man, I love that dude. Whoa! Third picture. Damn, third picture. We gotta get good. Now we gotta get moving. <laughs> <laughs> this is the penitentiary, man. This is a. Uh, uh, I don't want to go too deep in these stories, man. Chavo, Chivo, Chivo, Chavo, Chivo. There's uh, a couple of people. I don't know who they are, but there's Balazo, Balazo. There's Chivo. I don't remember this guy. Of course, Slinky. And, and right. before we formed the group, before they joined the group, right? We used to go and do, we used to uh, have competitions against them. Right, at Unicorn Ballroom. Yeah, and, and they weren't, what I'm saying is Miss Color Mafia, because of Troublemaker and Filetto got together and, and aggravated. Right. I mean aggravated and SELS. 
Right. Because Faletto was with, this is before Aggravated. This is how Aggravated kind of formed. Right. This is after SCLS. Troublemaker and Faletto got together. First. Right. That's Miss Color Mafia. Right. Right. And and Faletto was with, with, with us, South, Southeast Latin Southeast Latin Sector. Latin Sector. Okay. We weren't even. And that's Mexicans these, and Captain. Right. right these guys weren't even. We were never going to think that they would ever even be a part of the group. Right. But what happened was. But what happened was. We had the shows and the competitions. It wasn't just the Unicorn Ballroom. We used to go all over the place, right. outside everywhere. But after Unicorn Ballroom, one time, we went Paletto there. lived at the penitentiary, which was apartments that were in the southwest off of Chimney Rock. Correct. Right by the Pizza Hut, right. behind there, you know. So they were, and this is where I met. I got a story. I just, I just did a post. I haven't post, I, but I got, I got a, uh, you know, I do all those. My, my videos when they're right. by the way check go to Grim TV go to Grim TV I'm saying get, get, get Grim 713 TV I'm sorry I don't even so know so Filetto and Belasso had their own apartment right so they was and over we there, go that's, over what there. We going to, that's what we were going when we started our stuff when we right. did, started our SLA they were there but they had lived there right we've been going over there right? right go pick them up take them to my house and then we're doing these shows all over town and we're always running into these Mexicans at the shows at and the then shows. one day we don't know and they're from second ward they're from second ward which is why would they be have why would, why they, would be they be in the penitentiary why would they be in the penitentiary in in, in, in the same yeah okay so getting getting back to it we, we do the shows and and uh i don't know who who ran up on them but Faleto calls me I, I get i get a call or, or get a you know get the word that man look who i ran into you know who i ran into who i ran who, who you running? Man, you know them motherfuckers. Slinky. You know them motherfuckers, man. It was slinky. Because we were cool. Even though we would do competition and everything, they would win, we would win. It was right. you know, crop participation, right? With it, and that's another thing we gotta go. That's it, we get, you know, I get off in the tangent. But all this stuff that we did, even with Miss, Miss Color Mafia, that started from freestyles and everything off of Silver yeah. Leach and everything. We'll talk more about that, but but, but, just, but we used to we, we were still cool, even though we do shows and or competitions, they would win, we would win. It wasn't no bit of rivalry and everything, so we knew who they were, but out there in the, in the streets, in the, in, in the, in right. the city. Come to find out, they live in the same fucking yeah. hotel, in the same fucking uh, apartment complex. Around one, and really, one, really one, one, one unit here, unit, one, unit, one yeah, unit down. Yeah. He goes, who the fuck who I ran into? Like, so, of course, after work, I go over there and I go, I, I see what's up, there they go. And, and, and we went over there and that was the balcony that we saw him because he was upstairs. Yeah. And, and goes, this is the balcony, right over here. and we took pictures of them. You guys know, like, damn, they right there. That's crazy. Y'all live in the same. So it was a coincidence. And you know us. It was like, that's the omen. It's got, yeah. It's 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 that's, it's, 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 that's how it's, it's, we we that's how it's mom. meant to be. That's mom. That's that's mom. mom. You know what I'm saying? It's that's meant mom. to be. Yeah. And so next thing you know, y'all sure four, enough, they, they they joined up with the sure aggravator. Enough, sure enough, it was an omen. It, you know, because look how long it stuck. It looks stuck. So. That's crazy. Okay, let me get down to you. All right. Let's pictures up. All right, this is when we first got together. This is after uh, we took po uh, promo pics. And uh, this is on top of your building? It, no, this is at Dad's uh, Essex. This is where Dad had his, his law office. It's next. It's right there at the parking lot, parking building. Oh, that's right. You know we used saying? to take promo. And these are these are for the SEO Less album. Yeah, this is this was before the aggravated. Right, album. exactly. This is before that. This is when we when we we uh, when we met and uh, we decided we're gonna work on an album. I mean, this was all fast, bro. And we wanted to say, okay, we gotta take promo pics. Right. And we started taking pics. And we were doing this shit by ourselves with probably. A, a, Disposable. Disposable camera. In fact, it should have a date on there. So the March 1st, 1993. That, that, these these kind of go inside. So this is about the same time, if not the same photo shoot. That's how we used to. Uh, what do we used oh, to there do? It, is same, it is the same photo shoot. Yeah. So SCLS, this is how we used to uh, promote, right? This is this is this the way. This is our great, our, our grand eye scheme. Right? Right. Remember? Yeah. You know, this 50, is where 5735 comes from. Comes this from. Is, this, we also used to do the SCLS like you see here. Now 13, so now here's what happened. We used to do 5735, that's where it started with, and that was me and Shank. Rest in peace, Shark of Shank, man. Yeah. My, my, my dude, man. Uh, <laughs> man, let's go. See how I get it, bro? Yeah. Uh, so, but anyway, so Shank, uh, Shank was my dude, man, and it was really his idea. Right, so he was like, "Man, you know, you got a tag, you got a thing, you know." I said, "This motherfucker." No, we started. We, right. We're gonna have to promote. So how are we gonna promote, man? We ain't got no money. And we had, and we used to use. We, we already had no, fifty-seven thirty-five because of the pages and right, that's right, what we right. would do. And fifty-seven thirty-five was with our SELS upside down like a page. Right, Southeast Latin Sector was the name of our group. So Shank was like, 
when we can tag it everywhere. But at the same time, it's like, I don't want to be so conspicuous. So we came up with the idea to make it, you know, we're always thinking about ideas, right? How can you make people like, what is that? What is that? So flip. 5735. So he, man, he went on his own and was, and was t- and I was taking him. Yeah. But he was like, let's get, he'd get out the car. Everywhere we went, he would right? get out the car and he, and he would, would spread. It. That's Both why it's so tall. He would do a lot of people because he was tall. He was yeah, a tall dude. He would dude. do 5735 and SCLS and everything. This is actually Sambo's. Yeah, yeah, Sambo did that one. This is Sambo. So, yeah. Actually, you're right. You're right. So then Sambo, because he loves us, was like, I'm going to tag that shit too. Right? right, and he would do his. Oh, I'm gonna do my own. I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do SCLA. I'm gonna do what it stands for. But and that's where this was. Uh, but that's how we promoted, bro. That was our. our, our that was the, the. That was the best way. And this was we ain't had no social media. That's bro. just this one of them. But that media. was all over. All and, over. And that's what I mean. This this was a uh, sambo. So a lot of our friends started doing their own SCLSs all and, over the place. And if people want to know exactly where that's at, that, that, that one right there was right there on the Gulf Freeway. Uh, where that bridge would go over the Gulf Freeway near uh, um, Southern Southern Street, which is where we used to live. Where on we used Southern. to live on Southern, and that was we like and that's there, why we I took, lived there then. But I we, took the picture from that from from that from walkway. That spiral walkway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? This I was is, gonna do that one last because I'm gonna show something after this. But so this is since uh, it's in the same era. This is the I went downtown. If you know, if you look at the the uh, wait, wait wait oh yeah you can show it. If you look at the album cover, <coughs> oh, excuse me. And you look at the building. So my whole idea with this was I wanted to put us in, in, in a cartoon form because we always felt like you know we're we're, it, we're our music is basically a reflection of the world and everything. But we're just characters, right? We're just we're, characters. We're just the stage. We're just right, right. right. Which is another thing about our love of movies and right. the stage and, and drama. Yeah, well, drama. The world is not, the stage. Not not, not 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 all this you know family drama and all that other shit. I'm talking about real you know. Right. So. So my idea was, okay, so we're characters and everything. So to, to give it that, you know, that we're in the real, but we, we they're not actually, you know, a lot of, it's just, uh, like I said, it's cinema. Uh, we wanted to uh, put ourselves, but we are in the real world. We're in the real we're world. We're characters in the real world. Right. So my idea was to put these character, cartoon characters in a real situation, doing a real, like the, what's going on here. But the background being an actual photo, right? Right. So right. I'm t- it's like we're cartoons, but we're but we're in, like there's a movie called The Cool World, and and, the, and it was cartoons or Hey Good Looking and, 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 and or or Roger Rabbit or you know yeah. something like that and, exactly. And so you be in the real world, right. but we were just characters. You know what I'm saying right. everything that we was rapping is like chron- chronicles exactly. of what, what was going on in our neighborhood. Exactly. Because so, not every story was and particularly about us. It was also stories that you know, even though some of them and you know a lot of them were. There's also stories that we that Sam, I wrote that Sam, I wrote Sam, that about little Sambo Sam stories. Sam stories we would or intertwine or other people's stories. stories that we knew yeah. and our friends' lives in, intertwined in our stories. Yeah. And this is the picture of uh, another another view from the picture that's in the background on this photo, man. That's pretty dope, man. Yeah. And fucking Kid Styles, man. I want to go ahead and mention Bust that. a shout out to Kid, Kid Styles. Styles was the one who took our likenesses and uh, man did a fucking badass bad, job, fucking sick ass job. And it became, you know, a literally. And believe it or not, that's a pen and pixel iconic, uh, cover, but it's yeah. not the kind of pen and pixel cover that you would know. Sean loved it. Yeah, because it was a different style. He, you know, pen and pixel. He everybody knows that. He didn't get to do yeah, too much work on it, but but he got to do. It. And then he, we did all our stuff back then at pen and pixel, but we didn't do the norm like what he would do. He would do a lot of that Photoshop he, stuff. He, and everything I like think that. he liked that. About and he was like, oh, okay. So when he saw the real concept with the characters in it, and he was able to place them and put them on, I remember that man. We said, so th- this is around that same time. Wow, these are our original homies, man. This is this is the the original brunt bunch. You got Weto in there, bro. You got look at you, man. What the hell are you doing? I don't know. I don't know why I always take pictures like that. Sambo. I mean, I could go down the line. Sambo was I, out. I think that was the brief time that he was yeah, out. He was out for for a few months. Yeah, until he got locked up again. again and he went right back in. Uh, I mean, I see everybody. Man, it's just crazy. I see. It's hard to to to. to, to Name everybody. I was hoping you knew most of the Cody's in there. Anthony's in there. Your son's in there. You're holding him. And, uh, you know, that's how young. That's what Anthony was probably about a year Is old. Is that two Pete years. Marquez? I can't tell Pete you. Marquez, yeah. Pete, Pete, Pete Marquez. Pete Marquez. 
Strict Nine. Strict Nine. And he's actually on the cover of of making a matter of making a matter worse. I don't know. He's in the background with Ike Man and Squeaky. And that 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 brings back some dope memories. Oh my goodness, man. That session. By the way, real quick before you go, this is the session. This was our last session. For making the matter worse. Really? Yeah, and we're partying. That we're part. That was, we're having a party because we finished. This it? It's my house. It's at the at, 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 Bamboo, at BFT Bamboo Forest Trail. Yeah. Oh, that's that, really? Yeah, that's that back room. And we had just finished the album when we had like a at, little party at uh at 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 uh the studio. No, that in my that's my house. Oh, you, but you had, we had just finished the studio the album, album your at house. my house. Yeah, I don't, okay. yeah, we hadn't we hadn't mixed or mastered okay, it yet. Okay. We haven't even okay, mixed yeah, it no, yet. But we had finished off because we, we used to write everything party. on an outline. And we had a listening party. And we had a listening party. Mm-hmm. And we had a listening party to our album before we went to thing. And that's the listening party album. Yeah. I mean, listening. You talking about a real listening party? Forget the club yeah. and everything. Yeah, we did it at the house. You know what I'm saying? All right. This is my brother, man. This is my my my, my dude, my love, man. Uh, Samuel, man. Sammy. Sammy Wahardo, aka Mr. Sambo, aka the pilot. And that and that and that. And, that, uh, and, and, and that and he was the one that that uh, he was he's preaching right there. You know what I'm saying? His ministry that he does in, in prison now. And he gave me that. I think it shows, tells you back in 2005. Five. So damn it, uh, uh, nine years? No, man, this 20, dude, almost 15 years ago. This is the heart, man. This is when you talk about the heart that pumps the blood in, in the body. Uh, he's definitely the heart and the blood that uh, it is. Not, and I and when I say this, man, I mean when I say southeast, you know, I, I don't mean the neighborhood. I don't mean it. I mean the 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 soul. Of of our neighborhood slash because like I said last night, man, Southeast and the Southeast Latin sector isn't just a section of a of, of a town or or a piece of land in, in in the world. It was a culture. It's a culture, man. It's almost kind of like hip hop. I mean, it, it, I'm no disrespect to hip hop or anything like that. That's no, nah. but it, but it, but but it, it's it's a it's a fabric. It's a stitch from in the fabric of hip hop. You know right. what I'm saying? We're just trying to live. And be, be, you know, we were, I think, I look at it as that we were reporters with the media, and our medium was music. Right. And we was doing, and you was writing, you know, you know, stories, you know, that you would read in the newspaper about our neighborhood, and we would publish them in our music. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and, and, and this is you, your and, fault. And yeah, it was my, I mean, you know, I mean, it was my concept. I do concept album, but see, and Sambo, what you mean is that he was like the heart of it, he was like. You know, like, you know, and that's why Ike Man became a guy. Ike Man couldn't rap. Exactly, exactly. You know Ike Man is an extension He's of Sambo. He's an extension of Sambo. So, and he was more of an influence towards me because Sambo, why? Because he was locked, locked up all the time. He couldn't be. But in all these stories, definitely, Ike Man was like, oh, you just, man, Yeah, Ike Man, Ike Man he, wasn't, wasn't. You were doing so much violence and you were doing walking like a zombie. And Ike Man came, he was more like, man, he didn't write about the hood. He didn't write about, you know, our neighborhood and, right. and, and, and us. Right. And then that's when you came with Flying Sambo's Kite. Right. And I mean, that, and, and where you go and get down the line with that. And this is, this is Sambo. Man, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Love do you know Sambo. anything about this? I, I know these, you, these are the trains you used to do when you used to work uh, for that company. What was the name of that company? Anyway, so you, well, before all that, you used to, you used to, you used to hit these bombs. These, these are the tags, man. Look, look. Man, you, this is going to get deep. We're gonna, we ain't got time for this type of shit. This yeah, but I just want you to get your reaction. Okay, so this is, this is how it started. This is, with 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 to me this is how the music started mm-hmm. because you yeah you were in the band you were playing trumpet you were you know at Hartman you were you know went on to Austin sitting sitting in a chair going and doing marching and all that other stuff mm-hmm. and the, and it's funny you say Hartman because what happened was I saw this movie called Beach Street right I don't know about the, in, in and the, I wanted the the four elements of hip hop is right. DJ MCN graffiti and break dancing right so what I did is I. Attack breakdancing first and, and, and graffiti and conquer that and that's me doing the graffiti right. and that that and this is what that reminds me of this is and now I don't know when you did this but I remember going with you on ventures and uh, since '96 we was it was an aggravated okay so this is later on this, this is, is later on but this that's is, just the I just wanted to bring the you know you remember you know that's what I used to do we used to, we used to hit tag oh and, yeah see the aggravated yeah man dude this this reminds me of and I used to go with you on some I used to fill in I used to do most of the filling right you would do you would do the lines you did fill in would, on that would, in fact fill in. shout out to Flip because on the other side of that train which I didn't right. get a picture of I did a whole block out and it was my name Shadow and then we put at the bottom the most hated 
That was the aggravated side. Mm -hmm. And on the other side of that train, didn't get a picture. I think Flip has that picture for you to feel with you. Flip for real, man. man. Come on, Flip. I've been trying to reach out to that. Man. And, and, and on the other side, we put the most hated and, and Flip painted a bunch of skulls. Okay. And he did the most hated. He did I'm that. I put you. Shadow and he put the most hated. And he did that block right. on the other side. That's why he Flip has the dope. picture Flip of it. Though. Flip was dope. No, nah, Flip so, is a graffiti artist so. too. Uh, Lone Star Riders Wanted album. This is the, the photo shoot. Never forget this shit. This is down the street in downtown from uh, Dope House. Dope House is over there off of uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, on the back it says the Lone Star Riders. This is gonna be the biggest group. I don't know who wrote that, but it was that's on crazy. the back. That's, that's, it, so, uh, you know, Dope House over there off of Center Street, down off of Washington uh, in downtown Houston. Up the block, somewhere close to downtown, there was a bar. There was a little spot, and it was it, it was pretty cool. And the reason why they chose it is because the bar looked like an old school western. Kind of western tap. They had the tap old tap. Who, who came up with the western theme? Happy. Really? Yeah. I Happy. thought it was dope that everybody got their own special kind of uh, hat. They brought they brought outfit like so you know Russell the, Lee's wearing. You know, the poncho kind of, the, the Indian stuff. That, okay, little story about that. They had all this wardrobe, right? Just like any other video, just like any other shoot. Right. You know? I kind of look at like Astro back in the days. Remember how they had the Houston, the Western? Right, it's kinda, you it was kind of like that. Well, it was kind of like that, but they had obviously these professionals. You know, it was a pretty cool shoot. It was for uh, Happy's album, obviously. And uh, Happy was man, the one Happy, now. Happy, Happy B, man. I love you. Man, man it's genius. So, Happy so, genius. Man, I, I, I mean, I was blessed, right? I got I blessed to, to live and work with, live with these guys, right? Yeah. That's how, I, I mean. Yeah. You, so, Bash, and Happy. Look at that, Max. Out there. Yeah, Max back there, Sheedy. Max Minnelli, Sheedy. Russell uh, uh I love that picture Logistic. because that's an actual, like a shot of y'all before y'all sat for the photo shoot. Yeah, exactly. So that's like a, okay. This is probably right after. This or is, right this after. Looks like right after we, yeah, here's the deal. So the story with the wardrobe was, we get there, now Bash is, and I don't see Bash in the shot, but we get there, I don't see Carlos. And right. when, when we get there, they probably hadn't, didn't even get the pick. Cause we, so we get there, they got the wardrobe and everything. Mind you, nobody, they, there's nothing that's with a tag or label that says this is low G. Right, 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 right. Okay, so we get there. You would think though. So you would think, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So when we get there, um, we're all, you know, kind of skimming through it, but just like anybody else, like you or me, right? We're all gonna, we're all gonna, uh, like, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want the cool, I want the cool hat, I want the, right? If you look at the pictures, that's why I, want, I wish you could see Bash and everything, but I, right, oh, right, right. we'll get it. It's right there. You know what I'm saying? So, so uh, yeah, if you, if you look at it, man, um, it was, it was crazy. It was like pick and choose, but everybody kind of, let, gravitated to what kind of worked for them. Like, look, at, and, and I don't figure R Russell Lee was doing the doing, doing the little jigs. <laughs> he, he had the little, he had the little, like, like yeah, the little, yeah, yeah. He was like, why I gotta wear yeah, this? Like, that I look just, just, the jug. You know what I'm saying? That's how they would do, the brother. Like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then of course, look at Low G. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, he had put on the Mexican. Look at Max. You know look, look at hat. I mean, I mean, a happy. And, and, and if you see Bash, he's got the the governor hat. I'm telling you, bro. He's got the little. Yeah, yeah. Everybody dressed the, the way they're. He's got kind of like the the word. Well, you know, he's 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 the, he's the, he's the governor. Right? He's, yeah, he's the exactly. mayor. Exactly. He looks like he's the, the mayor. I'm you know what I'm saying? Man, yeah. bro. To you know, the T. Bashi, so every oh, everybody picked their outfit like like if it was uh, tailor made for them. Literally, honestly, that's and, what I like about that picture. And they fit <laughs> at that. That's crazy. You know that's I mean? crazy. That's so, crazy. Man. So that, I thought that was this is a fun. This is a fun photo shoot, man. I mean, you, if you know anybody that knows Carlos, Carlos was you know having fun. Man, I live in this city, right? Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I picked that picture. So this is Artist Square. You remember this? Yeah, show? I know. Yeah, that's in Dallas. That's Artist Square. Artist Square. Actually, Artist Square is not there it's anymore. So it yeah, changed. It's so it. different right now. It's they actually color, they got, It's like a park now. Well, there's a whole. You got the whole art district now over there. They got Clyde Warren Park. Maybe I could post it. Clyde Warren Park. But, is, but is art district highway, was where we nice, used to. Uh, uh, so we went to Artist Square. We, and this was a K on the wind. This is uh, the, uh, what's the, uh, Latin Energy Fest. Okay. Okay. And we would go every year. And this was the year that uh, the DJ Laz yeah. was there. DJ Laz wanted to go last. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, he, was high, he, was, he, was, he was like a head. Like, hey, there's another story about that. I mean, I don't want to go into that because I know we got a little bit of. Uh, so, 
And look what the fuck am I wearing, man? Ah, uh, man. Hey, you know, those days, it's who, like... Who is my award? Ah, uh, man, I don't know. But that's the show nah, that, that Rashid... Hey, that was fly, bro. That's man. the show that Rashid climbed. Yeah, I know. That was, Let me get you there. Okay, okay. So, so, man, it was hot as shit. It was my, hot wife, ass by, day. my wife, by the way. I love you, JoJo. This is... And this is these are the, these 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 moments and these times are the reason why I live in Dallas. Now, my wife, at the time, now we weren't together at the time. She was a fan. She was at this show. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh yeah, she passed ah, out. Man. She crazy. passed out. That's just the whole. That's the story. That's another story. But she was at this show, so she remembers this. Um, this is one of the uh, Latin Energy Fest that we did out there. This is one, but I remember this particular one. We did this show. Uh, like I said, DJ Laz was last. He wanted to go last. Yeah. You know, and you don't remember, you remember Carlos, Carlos, go on right now, shit. Yeah, oh no, shit. Carlos would let you go on, but you, yeah, Carlos, Carlos had Carlos this, didn't care when he went real on, quick. because he was ready to get back to his booth. Right, not only that, not only that, but Carlos would go on, and I remember people making the mistake of letting him go on before. Oh, no, that's what I'm, he didn't, he didn't, that's why I'm, that's he didn't mind it, and he, he didn't that I'm getting mean to. to do it on anything. No, he, that's the point that I'm getting to, because he had an alter motive, ulterior motive, he wanted, he wanted to go back oh, to the booth. Oh, oh you want, oh, oh, you want me to go on now? All right, I'll yeah. go on right now. He wanted to get it but over with. That's hot. That, are you sure? I mean, we're in Dallas. We're in Texas, right? So sure enough, we did the show, right? And after we after we did the show, we walked back to the uh, and to, what happened to, to the state. And everybody walked the whole. Crowd. But before we did that, while we did the show, what you were talking about, Rashid and Low G, they didn't just do this here. They probably did it one of the, probably one of the first places they. That did is that. the first place. They so. Did that. They, uh, I think they would grab. They would get on these these rafters, or what do you call them? The, what do they call? The rafters. They got up on the rafters, man, and it was one on each side. You can't see the other one, but they uh, <coughs> low G and, and well, Rashid starts to climb, dude. You know, because they would go nuts. And oh, I don't think it first was, they would get on top of speakers. It wasn't. It wasn't planned. I don't think. Yeah, that at other really shows they would right. get on top of speakers. That's right. And, and but this be, one they had the lights in front, and they were like, oh. In Rashid, and sure, he goes up, and of course, if if, if Low G looks at Rashid, oh, you're not gonna outdo me, right? And Low G was the one climbing up poles and doing that mostly, yeah, mostly because in, 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 in the neighborhood he would climb up the them. Well, because of Honduras, he's right. Being he used to go up and get you know and what is it, uh, the coconuts and the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, that's so sure. they went up the fucking spot, man. Everybody went nuts, and then it was crazy. And, you know, I remember the Los like get the fuck. Yeah, he was afraid. Yeah, to Los, fall. Los was a. Get the fuck, he was tripping like, get the fuck down. On mic, by yeah. the way. Oh, on no, mic, like in between the song, crazy. get the fuck what down, the fuck what are you doing? And everybody cracked and up. And everybody's just cracking up, it was part of the show. They Bash thought it was part was of the show. Bash was there, this is, this is our little tour. This is before, really, Carlos really, really went nuts, you know, this is. Well, well, actually, the third wish was already out, and this is when we started forming the purity. Right. So, but well, that's what I mean. So he had already had his following, he just, he just, and that's he just, what's this funny. This taste of this was his first taste, taste of, of how of know. all the all the spoils from all the work that he'd done with, you know, from Hillwood Hustlers. And it wasn't the to, first uh, show, but it was one of those shows where he did go on before the headliner. And when I mean, well, he, when he walked saying. off, well, that's what I'm saying. The by whole this, crowd went with him. By this time, he had he had his power. He had gained his power, right, and he, and he right. was like, oh, his momentum. Oh, you, you oh you want you want me to go on now? All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you sure? And that's why people would say, Norman, that's what I'm saying. The DJ's like, I'm going off. You know, I don't know if he was being a butthole or anything, but he, he did have yeah, a He's from Miami. He was, you know, he, he probably was, had a little he, bit of a yeah, I, 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 I love on. DJ Lab. So he didn't know. He, he's a cool dude. He's cool as hell. Pimp oh, I him. love DJ Lab. Yeah. But he also, I think he learned a lesson that day, man. I don't want to go before that Mexican. Universal, this is when we went to New York. What? What? Fat Joe? Fat Joe. Okay, so Carlos, actually, what was her name? Uh, uh, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Mari. Mari worked, you know, was working at, at, at uh, Universal. Now, Carlos obviously put his team together and wanted to get go have a trip to New York with the hires and everything to, to Universal so that he wanted to show up and, you know, bring the company and bring, you know. So we, we had planned to go down there for that. Mari had this, with the, oh, we're going to New York? You know, La Cubana, right, or, or Puerto Rico. She worked at Dope Puerto House. Rican, right? Yeah, she's Puerto Rican. So, and she was like, she, she she worked at Dope House and she thought, oh, we're going to New York? Shit, we're going to go see Fat Joe. She made it a right. mission. That's what I love about Molly. Molly, Molly wanted something done, she would get it done. And, uh, and, yeah. and I was, she was probably one of the best promotional, I mean, with Sylvia and with everything else and that. Not, not to put Kim, Kim yeah. and all them. Molly, they had a whole team, Molly, right. But Sylvia, Molly was badass, When, when Carlos started getting really, really, it was, it was because we had already went to Universal and we were going to work on the second album, which was uh, Time Is Money. Right. And, and, and we wanted to, she goes, you need to get Fat Joe. 
So we went down. Long story short, we went we went down <laughs> we went down there, and uh, really, you know, what what it turned out to be. This was supposed to be a universal trip, and it turned out to be a fat Joe trip. Right. It turned out to be a terror squad. And then trip. who did you meet also? This, you were, I love you, Jojo, but I met the 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 the, the man, dude. I thought Maya was it, didn't I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> this dude was in love with this girl. Man, and I finally met her, man. I'll never forget this day. She recently bro. got married, you know, on a hiatus somewhere. I, I don't know, but well, I good was, for her, man. Well, good for her. I got. I, I married. She's her. been. Around. She, I married she, a beautiful. She's, she's been in the business for a long time. She she got into it, and I remember you were just like. You were infatuated. I was. Uh, I, I remember this day because I was so, you know, st- with a starstruck. Starstruck. Bro, I was. I, I, I was nervous. I was like, and I never seen you like that. I was like, check this. Let me see how I'm looking at man. I'm just. Uh, I'm beside myself right here, bro. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> trying to be as cool as like yes. trying to be Joe Cool, Joe Medina. Yeah, there you go. Bro, I put it back all in circle. Man, that's funny shit, man, for real. Man, I'll never forget this day. And she was cool as hell, man. Was she? She was down to earth real cool and was was the man. And I was like, I, I remember that this moment will, will be forever. Well, I y'all, 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 nah, y'all, I, didn't, y'all didn't just take that picture. Y'all Joe actually Joe. talked for a little while. Yeah, we, I mean, yeah. You we, sat and rapped she, for a That's while. what I mean. She was cool and she sat in there. Because I, you know, I mean, I didn't, I don't think I made a fool or embarrassed myself. But yeah. I did let her know, like, man. You know, you gotta understand. This is a moment for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna live for the rest of my life. And I probably went that. Maybe I did embarrass myself a little bit. But I, <laughs> but and I, and but she was cool with it. And she was just, just a man, you know. And then she, she showed me how down to earth she was and everything. And I love you, Jojo, man. You know, what I'm saying you're the love of my life and everything. But boy, I had, boy, I was, I was, I was back a, in the days. What do you call that? Just... I had a, a crush. You had a crush oh, on my her. goodness. I had a crush on my man. Man, look, look. I just showed I had my brother in my room. I was just, you know, uh, listen. Like, yeah. I just showed my brother, and, and he's got to get going. You know what I'm saying? They got to get on the yeah, road. Mom, he's got to get mom. back to uh, Dallas. But I just showed my brother 13 pictures, and we went over them. And, and, you know, these are the kind of stories that, you know, I want to give out. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see my brother more often, of course. And But you guys have been really asking for me to do sit down with my brother and just, you know, pick his brain. So I just thought I would... <laughs> So I thought I would go ahead and, and get that for you, man. Man, you already know you're tuned in to Shadow the OG TV. Keep it live. Keep it subscribed. Hit, hit that, that bell, bell so you can keep it on time. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right.